there's been creators that have worked with Funded Today, and Funded yeah. Today didn't deliver a successful campaign, and then I went and mm-hmm. grabbed that exact same campaign and ran it and made this successful. Yo fam, Sko here. I made this YouTube channel because when I went to college to learn business, it was all outdated. But I knew that things like Facebook ads, Kickstarter campaigns, selling on Amazon, becoming a YouTuber, were actually legit. So I decided to hit up good old Google and learn it on my own. Luckily I found this YouTube channel called Sko Show that taught me everything I needed to know. I went and studied uh, your previous campaign and I looked at your update section and I noticed that um, you, while the campaign was live, I believe there were only two, maybe three updates that got sent out, um, which is better than none. But what I've actually learned through my previous campaigns is that those updates can be a very, very good place to increase pledges and to acquire new backers. Um, and the way that happens, like the best way to do that is through... Well, there's two ways. One is cross promotions. So what that means is uh, once the campaign's live and probably once it's funded, which I imagine will be within the first day, um, I'll reach out to other creators and set up cross promotions, which, which means that we send out an update to our backers, which we fill with information relevant to the eyelashes campaign. But then at the bottom of it, we include pic- like graphics and a little description of different creators' campaigns that are live that are like not foreign to what our product is, like make it make sense for our backers. But we link to their campaign and their product. And then they also send out an update and they link to our campaign and our product in their update. So the idea is I reach out to creators that have already acquired several hundred, several thousands of backers. And I say, hey, we'll promote your product if you promote our product. And we both do that through updates. And I'd say 80, 85% of the time, other campaigns and creators are down to do that. Uh, unless like, unless we're, unless our campaign's struggling, then they don't really care for that. But as long as our campaign's successful, like that always works. Um, and, and what I like to do with those is schedule those So an update goes out every two, three, four days of the campaign. And so there's just a constant flow of cross-promoting happening and just this like web effect that's happening inside of Kickstarter with um, all these other campaigns, uh, you know, sending traffic to our campaign. Um, And then that's another really nice thing about that is inside of Kickstarter, you can actually create unique links that make that 100% trackable. So if I reach out to, say, a, a campaign called, I don't know, let's just say Dollar, and uh, I'll, so I'll send them a graphic, I'll send them a little description, and I'll send them the link, and, I'll, and, and they'll throw all that in their update. And so when people click on that in their update and end up pledging to our campaign, inside of the Kickstarter analytics, it'll show us that exactly from that link, this many pledges came and this dollar amount came from that. Um, and so if, you know, if we do a cross promotion with uh, a different campaign in the first week and it goes really well, we can see that in the tracking and then we can schedule another cross promotion for them with them maybe a week and a half, two weeks later, something like that. Because again, these campaigns as they go, they're acquiring more and more backers. So it doesn't make sense to do it to, to run a cross promotion that's successful just one time, but we want to like try and do that as many times as possible throughout the campaign. Let me see. Um, and then also inside of the updates, there's a lot of opportunity to just communicate with backers and uh, encourage, encourage them. And I have some ways of encouraging them to share the campaign on their social media platforms. And that can be very effective, as you can imagine. You know, they all have followers and those followers most likely trust them and you know follow them for a reason so like if we can get as many of the backers as possible to share the campaign then that's also you know can create a whole nother system one way i've done that in the past is by creating little contests so like we'll send out an update and say all right for everybody that so we say like follow these two or three steps Um, You have to make sure you back the campaign, number one. Number two, share on social media. Number three, send us, you know, a piece of proof that you shared the campaign on social media. 
And then basically yeah. we just say like everybody that does that is entered into a contest and we'll pick one person or two people or whatever, five people, however many, and we'll send you an, an extra product with your order, something like that. And that usually works because you know people want the product and when you say, hey, we'll give it to you for free, all you have to do is just share it. People usually do that. I think that's a great very good idea. If it's an eyelash product for women and they were going and grabbing like men's pants or something and That's putting it... They were. Yeah, see yeah, like that... They you, were promoting their own projects at the end no, of the day, so yeah, I that's... realized that it was more of like not in my best interest but theirs and then I was just, yeah, not really interested. Yeah, that's no, that's no good. So the way I would do it is I would go, I would, I would only reach out to projects that made sense for your backers. Yeah. So that way, when okay. when they do see that, oh, you're that you like, there's a little promotion happening. They're not like, this is stupid. I don't want men's pants. You know. Mm. If they were just promoting their own campaigns, that's so stupid. That's not the way to do it. That's exactly um, what they were doing. Yeah. Yeah, because then like then the other campaigns aren't even promoting your product well, and that's that's really the point is getting the other people to promote you to their backers. Yeah, definitely. So like, yeah, yeah. they were just doing that super wrong. Um, and by the way, I didn't mention, I, I, I told Mike this after we talked yesterday and he's like, dude, you should have said that on the call. Um, but I just, I, I forgot, but I've actually taken, um, fun. So there's been creators that have worked with funded today and funded yeah. today didn't deliver a successful campaign. And then I went and grabbed that exact same campaign and ran it and made this successful. So I definitely believe that because, um, if you go into my Google Analytics, I was looking at how much traffic they actually drove to my campaign. And I think it was like 200 people per day or something like that. Um, and you think about it, that's actually such a low number, considering that each cost per click would have been like no more than 20 cents, or maybe even 10 cents, really, you know? Right, and you probably so paid them like... Really spend. And you probably Pardon? paid them a few grand, I, I believe is their cost of like a few grand just to just to yeah, just sign to up with them up. yeah